YouTube fam. You guys already know what it is. You guys have tuned in to keep it up with the Coopers. And if you guys don't know, well then now you know. I'm so sorry you guys if the lighting is not the best lighting. I'm trying to use the lighting that I have from outside. But let's go ahead and get started with the purpose of this video because I know that's what you guys tuned in for. So today you guys, a while ago I went ahead and I stained my dining room table and stuff like that. And I actually went with black. But... Too many people doing that style so I decided to just go ahead and do something a little bit different but I don't want to tell you guys what I'm going to do yet because I want you guys to tune in and go ahead and see exactly how I achieve this look you guys and then from there once I'm done doing this you guys I'll be able to have the vision to you know what I'm saying put together my dining room area which I'm really freaking excited about but I'm not going to show you guys everything but I am going to let you guys you know roll along with me and watch me upgrade this table you know what I'm saying watch me upgrade it you know um this video might be split, honestly, you guys, up into two parts. This part, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do the sanding today, and then hopefully tomorrow, I'll go ahead and do the painting, and then, you know, put on the clear coats and sealants and all that, you know, good stuff, but, you know, you guys will see all that in the video. But let's go ahead and get started, you guys. I hope that you guys all enjoy me remodeling my dining room table on the budget, because I was thinking about it, you guys, and I was like, I was looking up, you know, dining room at tables and stuff like that on the website, and I was like, why the hell would I go ahead and spend four or five hundred dollars when I have a perfectly decent table and I can just, you know, upgrade it my damn self and make the same thing happen. So that is what we're gonna go ahead and do on this video today, you guys. Go ahead, like, comment, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ding that notification bell. Share this video and go ahead and join the gang. And just give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you guys are enjoying all the content that I'm putting out and that you guys are also enjoying this video today. So let's go ahead and get started. That's enough, that's enough rambling for me. Bye, guys. Alright you guys, so this will be the table that I will be sanding today once I wipe it down and stuff like that. Um, I'm basically going to go ahead and use my little sander that I have right here. But this is the stain that I have on it right now, but I think I'm going to go a little bit lighter so it'll match my floors. But this is what we have right now, you guys. And this is why I basically want to redo it. I have a lot of dings and stuff like that. Especially with my chairs, you guys. Look at this. My chairs, yeah, they definitely need to be redone. Those are dinged up. Everything needs to be redone, you guys. They look horrible. And this sander right here, you guys, I actually got from Walmart. I cannot tell you the price, but I will tell you that it's definitely underneath $100. If not, it is actually underneath $50. I'm telling you, it's cheap, you guys. I really don't spend a lot of money on these. But this is like my first little investment for my little, you know, upgrades and stuff like that. And let's go ahead and get started. Yeah. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the sanding. This, actually this part only took about, it took me about two hours to get this table sanded completely. But yeah, I'm very proud with what it looks like, you guys. So you know what I'm saying? You wanna make sure you put a little bit of elbow grease on there and yeah, you get the point. And as you guys can see right now, the previous stain that I actually applied is finally coming off and it's, yeah, it's looking really good right now. You see how I'm putting that elbow grease on there? Yeah, that's what you gotta do. You gotta, you know, put a little bit of, you know. It's looking really good, as you guys can see. It's way lighter than the other side of the table. So at this point I had to call in reinforcements because you know my arms getting a little bit tired. So as you guys can see right now, Huster took over and he's just finishing the remaining, the remaining, sorry, of the sanding. And you guys, it's already starting to look like a brand new table. I'm actually really proud of myself this time because the first time that I actually sanded my table, I was slacking because you know. I was like, it takes too much work, but you know, hard work pays off. So when you guys do projects like this, just make sure that you're taking your time. This project literally took me about three, four days to complete, but it looks so good. So it was definitely worth it. So after I'm done for this day, but I'm just gonna wipe down the assets of the, um, what do you call it? The little powder or whatever. You guys get what I mean. I told you I ain't no professional. And this is what the table looks like, you guys. Look at the grains on the table. It looks so good. I'm excited. I know for sure that when I stand this table, that yeah, it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. Just look at it, and it feels so soft. Right there, you guys, I'm actually using Rust-Oleum. And it's actually a gel, you guys, which is really freaking awesome because it's way less messier than the liquid. 
And the color that I actually got and what I'm using, you guys, I believe it's Honey Pecan. So it's like a really light brown. And believe it or not, you guys, I've actually had this table for 11 years now. So yeah, this is like one of my very first dining room tables that I've gotten. And it's still holding up really good. Also, you guys, a mistake that I made was I was actually staining this with my bare hands. Yeah, make sure that you guys get some gloves because, yeah, it gets really sticky and it makes your skin feel, you know, just you'll thank me later. <laughs> That's one thing that I did learn is to use gloves, but you know, I wasn't thinking about that at the time. But as you guys can see, it is looking so good right now. I'm so glad with the color. You guys, I'm, whoo, y'all just don't understand. Look like a pro on here. Look at how good it looks, you guys. It's already looking like a brand new table. And this is just the beginning, honestly. And right there, you guys, I'm actually using the kilts. And I'm actually using the color in white. Sort of like a white chalk paint, but yeah, that's basically what I'm going with. And for this table, you guys, it actually took me, I think I did about three coats of this on the table, you guys. It took me about three good coats. I'm not gonna lie, it took me three good coats. You know, I just had to keep talking to myself and, you know, just telling myself that, girl, this is gonna pay off, don't worry, girl. Just, you know, had to give myself a little pep talk because at first I was getting a little bit nervous. But yeah, the end result, like I told you guys, is looking fabulous, you don't see. And of course, you guys already know my mini me, she loves to help, so I just let her do that little area. That was like her designated area. You know, just to let her think that she was helping, which she was, but you know. <laughs> Look how good the table is coming along, you guys. So right now, as you guys can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and I believe this is gonna be my second coat that I'm painting. And you guys, it's already looking like a brand new table. Always working hard. I'm working hard, you know what I'm saying? We just focusing. So right now we're gonna go ahead and move along to the chairs. I decided to use the spray painter, you guys, and I decided to take it outside. Unfortunately, you guys are gonna see I'm gonna move right back. Right there, I'm basically testing out the paint. You wanna make sure that you test out the pressure to make sure you know you're not messing it up. But yeah, it ended up raining and I had to take it into the garage, but you guys are gonna see that clip a little bit later. But yeah, just focus on the skills right now of me using the spray painter, you guys in creating my farm house chairs. A lot of people do not know this, you guys, but I think I literally found like a new hobby. I really enjoy just doing stuff around the house right now, like, you know, decorating. I've always said when I got my first house that I could finally decorate it and stuff, and now I have my home, so it's awesome I can finally do and basically speaking into existence and just, you know, make my house a home. So you have to have a steady hand with this, you guys. So yeah, I think I went over my chairs a good few times, yeah. But this beats the paintbrush method. So yeah, I'll definitely take it. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, it was so hot outside, and y'all can see it on the back of my shirt. I literally had beads of sweat. Your girl was hot. I was hot. You guys, look at how good it looks compared to the black. Tell me that that chair does not look good. If you tell me it don't, then I know you're lying. And if you thumbs down this video, I know you are a hater. Because the after definitely looks better than the before, honey. Well, to me at least. Whether you like it or you don't, I mean, it's up to y'all, you know? Now, these are my completed chairs, you guys, right now using the polyurethane on top of it, you know? Just making sure that I'm protecting the coat that I put on there. 
Oh, and also you guys want to make sure that when you're painting that on the top, it actually drips. So you actually want to make sure that you get the sides of your chairs as well. Because if it dries, you guys, it's literally going to dry into like a, a drip dot or whatever. You know what I mean? It's, you're going to see that dry mark and it doesn't look good, you guys. So just make sure that you guys know that, yes, it does drip off the sides. Make sure that you know getting all the angles. And this is it. You guys are going to see the completed look. Look at how beautiful my farmhouse table looks, you guys. It looks like a brand new damn table. I'm really freaking excited. I'm so proud of myself, you guys. I had to give myself a pat on the back. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, you guys. Because I did it. I did it. All right? All right? I'm very proud of next time, you guys. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys all later. Hope you guys all enjoy.